Hey guys, um, I recently had a problem where um, when I purchased my um, Dodge RT, the um, previous owner had taken the uh, speedometer needles off for some reason. I believe that he had put a different uh, backing on here. Maybe the guy that owned him before, uh, he said that it was white before. And so in order to take that off, he, had, he said he had to take the needles off. So, But ever since then, ever since I've owned the truck, um, Every time I'm going, you know, I can be going 65 miles an hour, and it says I'm doing about 45. So the speedometer is way off, and and um, as well as I have 22s on this truck, so it's going to make it even further off. So um, there's a calibration test though that you can run, and what you have to do is essentially just um, hold this button, the reset button down, at the same time that you turn uh, the ignition on. You don't turn the engine on, but just the ignition, and keep holding it, and then um, checks will pop up right here. And um, I'm going to have to put the camera down in order to do that. But then what I've done is I've actually taken the um, speedometer um, off. So what I'm going to do then is it's going to run a series of tests. And one of the tests is it takes it to different points. So it's going to take it to 25 or it's going to take it to 20 miles an hour. Then it's going to take it to 55 miles an hour and then to 120. So um, it does them simultaneously, so you have to run the test multiple times. So um, I already did the tack and have it on, so it does a 1,000, 3,000, 6,000 RPM test, and at the same time, so I can tell when it does the first test. So when the tack is at 1,000, I can um, uh, I can be sure that this was going to be on uh, 20 miles an hour. So what I do is I'm just going to hold this here. And then when it hits 1,000 on the tack, I'll push it down, and then it should be accurate. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down just for a second while um, I do the simultaneous thing because I need another arm. So hold on just a second. So as you can see, checks popped up right here. And then what I'm going to do is it's going to run through a series of it's going to run through a series of tests where it switches uh, turns lights on and and uh, checks the different things. But I'm going to get ready right here at 20 miles an hour. And when you see that uh, left gauge go up to 1,000, I'm going to push it down. So there's the light test, and when that goes off, it'll run the other. So there it is. I'm going to push it down at 20. And there you go, it's at 55, and then at 120. So uh, you can see that uh, now the test is over and it should be relatively accurate. That's how you do it. I'll put the, uh, I'll put the uh, address to the, um, to the website where we found this. I actually asked this question on the Dodge RT um, uh, to give credit to um, Connery23 is the one that uh, gave me gave me this information, but I just thought I'd pass it along in the form of video because I know there's a lot of people out there that the uh, uh, speedometers and tacks are off, and so we want them to be as accurate as possible. This is going to be completely accurate because I have 22-inch um, wheels on here, but it certainly should be a lot more accurate than it was. So I hope this is helpful. Take care.